Hello, I am Ruben Palacios, and today we're going to talk about cabocentinib versus everolimus in advanced renal cell carcinoma. So the definition, carbocentinib is an oral and small molecule tyrosine kinase inhibitor that targets vascular endothelial growth factor receptor, as well as MIT and AXL, each of which have been implicated in the pathobiology of metastatic renal cell carcinoma or in the development of resistant to angiogenic drugs. This randomized open-label phase three trial evaluated the efficacy of the cabocentinib as compared with everolimus in patients with renal cell carcinoma that had progressed after BHEFR targeted therapy. So what is this disease? What is the advanced renal cell carcinoma? It means that the cancer has a spread to the adrenal gland or has a spread to distant lymph nodes or other organs because the adrenal gland is attached to the kidney. Cancer often spread there first. Now, the applications in medicine. In this 2014 level, 658 patients were randomly assigned to receive cabocentinib or ivrelumis in order to see the benefits and adverse events of these medicines in this kind of patients. So there, there was a better tolerance and greater benefits with cabocentinib, but also there were uh, some adverse effects such as hypertension, while ivrelumis generated diarrhea, fatigue, anemia. The treatment with calcitinium increased overall survival, delayed disease progression, and improved the auditive response compared with ivrolimus. Now we will see a video about the topic. Learning medicine is hard. typically affect younger men and women. It often involves multiple things. Probably more in those cases where there is a clear problem with the patient's care and survival.
pros and cons. There were better benefits with the first uh, drug, with, with this uh, cabocentinib. However, both drugs produce effects of our best or adverse reactions. So the benefits about cabocentinib were the improved of the progression free survival, also they delay disease progression, and about the disadvantages of this drug is that they cause hypertension. Also, there were deaths in this experiment. There was one. There was just one death in the, the treatment with the first drug. So, talking about the second drug, which is the Ivirilimus, there were more bad reactions than a real benefit. The disadvantages were that they cause diarrhea, anemia, fatigue, palmar plantar uh, syndrome, and uh, it was related to to deaths to death. Now we will see a video about this uh, experiment. Issue applied in Ecuador. Worldwide, renal cell center correspond to an insight of 2.4% in both sexes, and a mortality of 1.7%, and its prevalence at five years in 2.8%. Renal cell center accounts for 3 to 5% of neoplasma in adults. In Ecuador, according to the data from France National Institute of Statistics and Census, Renal cancer is more frequent in men with 2.0% and in women with 0.9%.
This disease is the most common type of kidney cancer in adults and occurs most often in men between the ages of 50 and 70. The exact cause is not known, but there are some follow following factors that may increase the risk of kidney cancer. So the, these are smoking, obesity, dialysis treatment, family history of the disease, high blood pressure, horse shoot kidney, long-term use of certain medications such as pain relievers or diuretics, polycystic kidney disease, bone high filling down disease, beer hot dub syndrome. In conclusion, this disease is quite serious and common mainly in men, and with this uh, study, a new, truth, a new drug was available for its treatment and improvement. Summarizing, the treatment with cabocentinib increased the overall survival, also delayed the disease progression, and improved the objective response comparing with everolimus. But also, the patients should be monitored for advance that might require those modifications. Thank you so much.